Miss Supranational Germany crown is a product of exquisite craftsmanship which conveys a message enshrined in its title and design that by uniting in diversity we overcome the challenges ahead of us together. And so the crown, unity in diversity is born. Made from rhinestones, crystals and Swarovski elements, its bearer will illuminate throughout her reign living up to the motto Aspirational and inspirational woman. A shining example among young generations, regardless of their physical, cultural, linguistic, social, religious, political differences, among others. Who will this phenomenal woman be? Welcome to Miss Supranational Germany 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Yasmin Zelberg. Guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren, and a beautiful day to everyone. To all pageant enthusiasts, to our media friends, to our partners, and to all who are watching us live in YouTube. Welcome to the launching of Miss Supranational Germany. Today we are going to find out who is the lucky woman who will represent Germany in the 12th edition of Miss Supranational in Poland. So without any further ado, let's all welcome the National Director of Miss Supranational Germany and the founder of the Queen's Camp for his opening remarks, Mr. Nestor de la Cruz Jr. I am delighted to join with you today in what will go down in German pageantry as probably a turning point. In a country where systematic training and careful preparation are next to none, beauty contests are considered as second-class entertainment. Even the most established international competitions are not getting media attention here, not on a local television or newspaper. A popular stereotype exists where contestants joining these events are nothing but pretty faces. Yet, this stereotype can be easily justified. Every year, we see women surfacing on both national and international stage who have undergone not just through one, but through multiple physical enhancements. These women capitalize only on the aesthetic aspect of the competition. What seems to be an entertainment to many is not entertaining to some at all. Their unnatural images, their over-the-top moves are simply reinforcing this popular stereotype, making it bigger and more pronounced year after year. And here I am, launching an organization, sending young women internationally. But I, together with the Queen's Camp, will not feed this popular stereotype. We are sending young women who can influence others, not through their makeup, not through the clothes or shoes they wear, but through their actions and deeds. We're not promising any crown, but we're going to send some of the most prepared German delegates in the years to come, women who aspire and women who inspire. Reinforcing stereotypes is an issue, and overcoming them will remain a challenge. As the National Director of Miss Supranational Germany, it is my pleasure to present to you our official entry in her introduction video to the World Finals in Poland. Let's watch them together. Gotta go very far Feeling like I'm living in outer space Been waiting for the day when I can see your face Meet this doll Blonde hair, light skin and blue eyes She is thought to be so German 
and this is me. Long, straight, dark hair, brown skin, and brown eyes. Eins, drei, fünf, sechs und sieben. Was weiß schon, dass das nur sieben Punkte sind. Ja, noch mehr als du. Denise, das ist ein Spiel. Nein, danke. Erst die Arbeit und dann das Vergnügen. Das schafft ihr auch ohne mich, oder? Später. Später. Was ist denn mit deiner Tochter los? Ist ganz ein Ende. Hey! Ich spiele die Musik. Ich habe eins jetzt hier. Girls are not good at sports. Boys are messy and unclean. Men are better at math and women are bad drivers. Gender profiling. So funny. Overweight people are unattractive. Only anorexic women can become models. Sound familiar, right? And there's this cultural profiling too. All Arabs and Muslims are terrorists. All blacks outside of the United States are poor, British men have bad teeth, and the Germans are Nazis. No sense of humor, cold, and unromantic. Hmm. Like the dirty clothes, the stereotypes belong to the laundry. And then the racial stereotypes. The automatic and exaggerated mental pictures we hold about all members of a particular racial group. When we stereotype people based on race, we don't take into account the individual differences. But how? How do we develop racial stereotypes? From an early age, we learn to place people and objects into boxes. We tend to put less of an emphasis on attributing values to these categories. As we grow older, we are influenced by parents, peers, and media. We see patterns and make rules with people and labeling them as superior or inferior increases as we grow older. The less contact we have with a particular group, the more likely we are to have negative feelings about the group. Negative experiences will strengthen these stereotypes and create fears. And based on our fears, we develop an us versus them mentality, which tends to be self-protective in nature. Stereotypes reduce the self-esteem, motivation, and intellectual performance of people belonging to minorities. In most cases, racial stereotypes are harmful as they ignore the full humanity and uniqueness of all people. When our perceptions of different races are distorted and stereotypical, it's demeaning, devaluing, limiting, and hurtful to others. People who are repeatedly labeled in negative ways will begin to develop feelings of inferiority. So how can we walk away from these negative stereotypes? I have a solution. Leave your comfort zones and expose yourself to people of different races. Oh, mom just texted. It is time to go home with cleaner thoughts. <laughs> cleaner clothes, rather. Hmm. I feel like going to a concert tonight to discover... What's this? Huh? O-V-E? Like love? Where is the letter L? Hmm, oh well, it's so true. We always carry something we are not so aware of. Mission accomplished. What about to a concert tonight? Or maybe a play? Movie? Or church? It doesn't matter. So let's be honest. We are all humans and we harbor stereotypes. We should work to become more aware of our inner thoughts and feelings and how they affect our beliefs and actions. We should also seek out media portrayals of different races that are realistic and positive. Meet people of different racial backgrounds. That's it! Overcoming stereotypes. Mm -hmm.
Let's create a society in which all races are valued, appreciated, and embraced. I'm Denise Nicole Pita, your Miss Supranational Germany. I will follow you oh, Until the end of the line ooh, ooh. And I will be your flower ooh, ooh. If you will be the bee ooh, ooh. And I promise I will always give you The sweetest parts of me Cause you're the tip to my top The key to my lock You're my breakfast in the morning You're my up to my down And the king to my crown And you're everything Want you got that sweet, 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 sweet and me by the National Director of Miss Supranational Germany, Mr. Nestor De La Cruz Jr. and assisted by Mrs. Josephine Bodecker. receive this honor and responsibility and I'm full of gratitude. All I can say right now is thank you. Thank you to everyone who has taken his time to join us on this very special day. This day when I am crowned your Miss Supranational Germany. This is yet another beginning, another start of a journey, a journey full of promising opportunities and I am delighted to start. To Miss Supranational Organization, thank you for celebrating empowered men and women across the world and giving us a stage to showcase ourselves while proudly representing our countries. To my National Director, Ms. Star de la Cruz, thank you. I am humbled that among all the deserving women, you showed confidence in me. Thank you for seeing the potential in me and trusting me. To my camp, my mentors and trainers, your support and mentoring since the beginning have been so beneficial. Thank you for agreeing to help me transition into the queen I am today. And to my family, friends and supporters, you are my inspiration and the source of my strength. Thank you for your continuous love and support. For this opportunity comes a platform that I want to use to encourage each one of us to think about others. I know we are all trying to overcome the challenges of life that is being thrown at us. And it gets easier or more difficult depending on the resources that are available to us. Here in Germany, we are very privileged to have an effective healthcare system, which is considered one of the world's best. Yes, a privilege, as access to healthcare is not available for everyone in the whole world. So just imagine. Imagine being in their shoes, or better yet, imagine how you could contribute to helping them. In my own ways, I try to give back. I support the Hope in Jesus charity group that my mom has recently started. It aims to help its Hydro Warriors by supporting them with their medical expenses to their daily needs. And I'm doing this because I know that even the small amount I give makes a huge difference. So join me and support Hope and Jesus Charity Group in Waste Your Heart Once. And together, let us make a difference in the lives of our Hydro Warriors. 
I am Denise Nicole Vita, your Miss Supranational Germany. Thank you. Beauty with substance, what a queen we have! I am sure our Miss Germany will do very well in the Miss Supranational World Finals. This virtual event won't be possible without our partner, Joan Samar, for Miss Supranational Germany's gorgeous gown. Pro 3 Protect for visibly protected beauty. Bora Bell's production or official videographer. Fratelli's video for video editing. Our photographers, Mr. Gunter Dorn, Mr. Mila Tamani, and Mr. Ayham Said Alding. DJ Mendoza Frank Payne. We hope you enjoyed our first show. Do not forget to follow us in our Instagram and Facebook accounts. You can find us under the Queen's Camp. And you can also visit our official website at thequeenscamp.com or missupranationalgermany.com. Once again, I am your host, Yasmin Selber. See you in Poland! Yeah, 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 yeah.